What's going on Wednesday Click? My name is Evan Hill and I am your host. So if you saw us last week, then that means you got introduced to the gang. But this week we're doing our first, I guess, official theme and it is Expose Yourself Week. Now some of you might be asking, Evan, why are you driving in your video? Well, great question. Because today's story where I expose me and my cruel and just horrible ways, it actually took place in this car. So I figured, why not literally take a drive down memory lane? So I contemplated for a long time if I was gonna tell this story, just because it is pretty bad and pretty ruthless and I'm not proud of it. And it's actually more embarrassing than anything else. But since I love you guys so much, I'm we're gonna go for it. So, today's story started back when it was my freshman year of college. So approximately two years ago, for those of you who don't know, I'm a junior. And it was really the first time that all of our friends had come home from winter break. Now, when people go to college, things happen, all right? You experience new things, you try new things, methamphetamine. Sometimes your friends can come back and they don't look quite as good as you might have expected. So in my case, this is exactly what happened. I came home from winter break and one of my high school crushes actually texted me and was like, hey, we should hang out. So me being the man that I am, duh, I'm gonna wanna hang out with her. She was like, Evan, come over, let's hang out, let's meet. And I think she actually used the word hook up. So it was like pretty much a win-win deal for me. I literally was gonna get to come back from college a new man and hook up with my crush. So anyways, I text my friends and we're all excited because this is like, this is a big moment. You know, I'm, I'm gonna finally get the girl of my dreams. But then this happened. So I go to meet up with her and it's not what you were expecting at all. She had just aged, she looked horrible. And I'm not, I'm not gonna name any names because I don't wanna embarrass the girl. But I mean, she just looked like fucking shit. And I'm, I'm really not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to exaggerate, but like, oh God, college was not good to this girl. I don't know if it was the drinking, the eating, the not sleeping, the cocaine, whatever it might have been, it was not doing her too well. So when I saw her, I was immediately taken back, and you know, and I think I could tell because I'm not that good at hiding my feelings. So I kind of probably came off as a little bit awkward. So I'm sure she was thinking like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? So we met at a local restaurant called Skyline. It's just like a chili, cheap, cheap food. We were hanging out, and then she finally makes the move. She says, "Evan, why don't we let's get, let's head back to my place? You know, let's get this fucking ball rolling." And I'm like, "Oh my god, whatever, just roll with the punches, Evan. One bad hookup won't kill you." But in this case, it almost did. So just as like I'm like, "Okay, yeah, you know, let's just go back to your house. We'll hang out, have a good time." I get into my car. To, and we, we, we drove separate, so we're gonna drive back separate. But I get into my car and I immediately text my buddy and I'm like, college has not done her well. Now some of you are thinking, Evan, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal was I sent it to her! I texted this girl while I'm in the same parking lot as her. College has not treated her well. The amount of cringe is unreal. All right, this was probably hands down the most awkward moment of my life. I mean, she's literally like, oh, the car next to me, and I'm just like looking down at my phone, and then I look up, and so what do I do? I panic, I just drive off. I didn't know what else to do. I, I, I couldn't confront her, I couldn't go back with her. So not only did I drive off, I blocked her number and blocked her on every single form of communication, social media that ever could exist. And I feel like a piece of shit for it, but I mean, ugh. I don't know how else to get around it. This is my Expose Myself week. This is me showing you guys truly what an asshole I am. But I mean, I, I'm not gonna, you know, degrade myself to the point. I was misled. I was misled, all right? I didn't read the fine print on this one and I had to live with my mistakes for it. So if you are watching this video, I'm sorry. I, I love you. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed my Expose Myself week. This is, this is pretty raw. In real, I promise you, I'm not as big of a dick as it might seem like. But yeah, I was actually in this car when I uh, when I when I sent the message, and she was like, right there. So that was good stuff. And this car isn't fast, so basically, when I sped off, all you heard was like, ee, 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 and she's like, oh, where is he going? Looks down, oh, fucking a. Thank God she didn't know where I lived, or she might be hunting me down. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We got new videos coming out every week. We got actually another one that's going to be coming out today and then some for the rest of the week. If you missed Caitlin's episode that was on Monday, go check that out. And until next Wednesday, guys, peace.